What was it like auditioning? Tell me about this whole process. The audition process? Yeah. Um, I went through a series of four auditions to, to get it. And at the beginning I thought, there's probably thousands of kids up for this, which there were, and I'm not going to get this. But I'm proud of myself for trying. And then I once I found out that I got the role, I was really, really happy and just... Static. Should they, should they looked over the entire world for, for someone to, to play your role. Yeah. That's a big yeah. Pretty cool. yeah. yeah. Who was the first person you spoke with after you found out you got it? Well, my mom and dad. I was at school when they got the call, and then I came home from school, and they were sitting on the couch, and um, they were like, "You're gonna pe play Pete and Pete's Dragon," and I was like, "Yes." <laughs> um, and yeah, so I was just talking to them, and then. I talked to my friends oh my about it. Yeah, Actually, I wasn't allowed to tell anybody at the beginning because it was like um, not announced yet. So I couldn't tell anybody for about a month or two. So I could only talk to like family and my grandparents. But yeah, I'm getting to work with Bryce Dallas Howard and Robert Redford. She's really amazing and she's incredibly talented. She's a very motherly figure and. So is so is Robert Redford, a very fatherly figure, and he's um, he's hilarious, and he's a legend. I mean, working with him was a really cool experience. Tell me about work, pretending that there was a dragon there that wasn't there. Like, how did that work? Did they have a tennis ball or what? Was, how was that? There was there was like a piece of tape on the wall or a tennis ball on a stick, as my eyeline, <laughs> and then they turned that into a dragon, and it's really cool seeing the dragon after imagining it for so long, so yeah.